The food product development is more sophisticated today and the, it has to fulfill the needs of the consumers. It has to be consumer-driven approach. It's not more like uh, products of hope. It means like the food industry will come up with the products and hoping that the consumer will like it. <laughs> So it's ready guys, I don't have it. To be able to do that, we have to understand what the consumer needs. And to create innovative food products that will fulfill the needs of the consumer, we need a lot of science. For example, can we make our natural sweeteners, like an example maple products, more healthier? So we know that the consumer love food that they are sweet, they love drinks that they are sweet. And one project that we are working on it is actually to synthesize or to produce the prebiotics. Prebiotics, they are like a big family of functional ingredients. They are important because they stimulate the growth of the beneficial bacteria. They do promote the health of our intestinal tract system. Prebiotics are carbohydrates found in foods like asparagus, garlic, onions, leek, and artichoke. They're not digested by our human digestive system. That means they survive intact all the way to the end of our intestinal tract, to the colon. That's where many, if not most, diseases start. Prebiotics trigger the production of beneficial bacteria that can fight off toxins leading to disease. So the goal of the research is to mass produce prebiotics in order to trigger this healthy prebiotic effect. So for our research, what we have done, we have looked at the different qualities of maple syrup, even the maple sap, and then we have looked at what can we use to produce these molecules prebiotics. And we have concluded that even the lowest quality maple syrup that is too dark to be used as a, a product can be used to produce these prebiotic molecules that can be added into different kinds of food. So the chemistry behind the prebiotic is very important because that determines how they are metabolized by our body, how they are fermented by lactic acid bacteria, determine their selectivity, their colonic persistence, and at the end, how they can promote the health of our intestinal system, which is kind of the brain of our health. The prebiotic do exist naturally, but the amount that they do exist is very, very small. So we cannot make any economic use of this prebiotic that exists naturally. And that's how the science it comes. It comes by developing new enzymatic processes. What I'm trying to do is to change the structure of leaven sucrase, the enzyme, in order that it can be reused multiple times and keep producing prebiotics. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the enzyme, which is here, in contact with this solid support, and the enzyme will attach itself to the support. And then I just mix it like this for a few days at four degrees. Afterwards, I'll just have the solid support and I can put that into contact with the maple syrup. We'll leave that to mix and that will produce the prebiotics. Then afterwards, we can let the support settle, take the prebiotics out, add fresh maple syrup, mix it some more, we'll get more prebiotics and we can keep doing this process over and over again. So the in, basically in our enzymatic process, the enzyme, which is the biocatalyst, is using the sucrose as the starting material to produce the fructooligosaccharides, which they do have a prebiotic properties. So the fact that we are going to use maple syrup, which is very rich in sucrose, like it does contain more than 60% of the sucrose, we are going to be able to enrich the maple syrup with the prebiotics. It can even be used to create candies or taffies that would have health benefits. So it's going to open a big possibility for the maple syrup producers. This process can be applied to many other sweetener-based food products, basically, not only maple, as long as we have sucrose there that can be used by the uh, enzymes. We have a patent on this process, and we are hoping that um, one day the consumer can buy a maple syrup enriched with the prebiotics and that can promote their intestinal health.